Morning, guys. So, it's two seconds after I finished the last one. <laughs> I forgot to do an ending yesterday. Uh, lucky. <laughs> a reminder. Um, but, uh, so this morning, um, I've just actually blown the coat of texture coat in and around the inside of that back tray. Um, and later on, I'll flip it over near the bottom of it. <coughs> but I think what I'm going to do is so I've got some aluminium stripping now to put around that floor, the floor pieces. Hopefully there's enough there to do what I need to do. Um, I just hope it's cut at a decent place where it's I can get everything. Hopefully. <laughs> so I, I can't weld aluminium together. Um, so we'll work on that. Um, if need be, I'll just go get some more cut. Um, what else? And then I'll start making the firewall piece and any other little bits and pieces. And I also want to make those shelves up at some point today, hopefully. Um, so yeah, it's cool. So I think I'll get on with it and uh, we'll see you shortly. Well, hopefully you can sort of see there, all right? I think you probably can. So this bits of aluminium here, or aluminium, um, I'm hoping there's enough here to do this. Um, but obviously these here aren't going to take much, and I'm probably going to get that out of, out of some of this stuff. But I've got these two pieces that go along here like this, which are all, I'm going to try and make like that. And then, and then these just little L's, L brackets, I guess you'd just call them. They're pretty simple. Um, they probably just need turned up and then probably over and then maybe just a very slight kick so they'll sit down hard um, which should be okay but I just hope I've got enough strips here like it ought to be nice if there was a bit more, a little bit more. I think there's probably enough in the length but it's just whether I can get all the little bits out if you know what I mean so I need to have a bit of a workout and just have a measure and see what I need to get out of what because um, the worst bit is trying to get two of these um, so fit on, on here. Um, so I'll see that's where that overlaps between the turf, you know what I mean? Um, and that's where the uh, center, that gear stick cover goes. So this, yeah, this will fit here and then the gear stick cover, whatever way around it was not particularly critical. But it looks like that way. So here's yeah, that, and then another one over there, and then the guest piece, and that overlaps into like that, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I just need to work out what I need to get off, what bits, because I was struggling to get this stuff off to get the little screws out of it, because they're so frozen into the wood, I'd have to like, cut it all and break it all away to try and use these pieces, and in places that are um, not too bad, but, but like so this one here, it's all beaten to shit and it's gonna you're gonna it's bugging anyway. So like a whole heap of fresh stuff's not gonna hurt. Um, so I just need to work out what I need to get out of these three strips. <laughs> Cut it up off a freaking piece. Would only be off from one length, just rolled up. I hate when they do shit like that. So 
or you have to leave the, the amount you want, but when they chop it up into pieces, instead of, you know, just having a roll or something like that, you can't get all the out of your pedal what you want. Um, damn it. Anything. That's the only thing I hate when you you get them to get what you want but because they've just cut out of some short bits and um, just cut it off the length so it was easy for them to carry. It's fucking screwed me over. I probably got enough length here to do it, but you know, not a not enough usable length. Just gotta get them off, that's the biggest problem. Yeah. So it's a little bit over 1200 long, doesn't matter which one I do. Which is that what they are, they start at four foot. And get on four foot, I think. Normally when you're dealing with lots of plywood and stuff like that, it's, it's normally 1200 and a bit, and it's normally like 1240 or thereabouts, so you get a little bit to play with, but that sheet, it's dead on 1200, which is basically four foot, um, yeah, it just, it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough for the short bits, even, like for the shortest length. Um, I definitely need that front one. Definitely need that one. Cut it right, I should get the four shorter pieces, the long one, and the, these two pieces, and just be short this back one. I'll we'll try and see if I can get it off. And just polish it up, the suit. I think that's the only way I can do it. Give it a trial and error here. That's where it comes in also handy to have a bit extra. <laughs> I'm trying to do there just to have a gentle break on it down so when it's sitting on top it's not poking up and catching your your footwear and then getting bent so it's just just got a gentle bend in it it's, but it's very awkward to do but a little bit of perseverance we'll end up with a reasonable result Roddy 
So I was trying to get this longer one to do that little bend over too, but in the middle, it's just not quite grabbing hard enough. Um, I obviously need to get in there and adjust it a wee bit. So all I was going to do, I'm going to do that bloody hammer. <laughs> So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to come along here and just give it a wee gentle tap. to get it to do it on the folder but it just wasn't it was just slipping out at that point or it was pushing it back in when I had it poking out pain in the butt but anyway obviously just need to get the fine tune on that folder a little bit better so it's got a little more clamp pressure in the middle I just need to work on it but I've only got a few pieces of this it's not super critical So I'll carry on and first bend these last little pieces. These ones here will be the fun bits. These little in-betweens. <laughs> Just to get that to squash down, but it should be okay. I should better kick that. Like, double kick that at 45 and then bring it that up to 90 and then remember if instead of bringing this one to 90, just bring it as far over as I can. Then hopefully I should better squeeze it up, even if it's um, in the vice or something like that. Gently. Actually, I've actually got a couple of pieces of fucking because I haven't got enough, which I might make up some little. Thanks, Why not? <laughs> Make some people more ready. <laughs> Slip them in there. Bean them around. Come back to when I get some more done. Righty, so um, I'm just going to make the other one of these. I've actually made it to fit the bigger vise. Um, I'm not sure if it'll fit that one over there or not. But it'll fit some with smaller vise. It's just a little bit loose, if you know what I mean. Um, the jaws are similar depth, but it's just not a quite as deep that way, if you know what I mean. And it's obviously not quite as wide. So I'm like, mm, I already thought about folding the ends over, but I might just leave them open. And it's easy enough to get on and off, and it grips on there quite tightly. Just handy, um, you know, if you want to put something in there you don't want to mark up with the hard jaws, you know, this will be perfect, and it doesn't it doesn't need to be pretty, if you know what I mean. So, yeah.
which that should be good. I'll just make up another one now and uh, pretty simple to make, if, especially if you've got a fold or a break or something like that. Easy to do, so yeah, I'll just bend another one up and poke it on the on the uh, jaws and less then if I am mucking around with these little pieces I can I can clamp it against, squash it up hopefully with this and uh, not like mark up the the aluminium because it's against aluminium and this is soft anyway. So yeah, that's cool. We'll uh, work on it because then I can I probably won't polish these up but I'll bring them up anyway. Like I'll probably maybe buff them up or we'll sand them up probably with 800 or something like that and then just give them a light buff so they'll be semi shiny if you know what I mean with that being shiny shiny and um, I'll probably do that with some of the other yeah. um, aluminum pieces too but I'm not sure with those big pieces for the floor I'll just try and clean up the best I can it's sort of a hard thing it's so worn and so pitted and scratched it's you can only get them so far so I'll try and match this other stuff in to look sort of similar sort of finish if you know what I mean Carry on and make this, and we'll come back to you. Righty, so that's the, these two jaws made. They fit on there snug enough, and they're easy enough to knock off. Like I can just give them a tap with a hammer, and they just come off. But they clip on there tight enough that yeah, they're not going to fall off when you undo the jaws to take something in and out, if you know what I mean. Um, and I also said, like, I did think about folding the ends over, but if I leave them like that, at least I can put them on. Anything. I'll actually go test to see if they'll fit on the other one. I don't know if they will. It'd be nice if they do. They might do. Oh yeah, they might do. No. Nah. They might they would if you pushed. They're a bit th bit thick. But they'll fit on the other one. The one small, well the small one, so it doesn't really matter. I've got two vices I'll fit it on. <laughs> They're just a little bit big for this one. A little bit big, better than nothing. So yeah, they fit on there, all right? That's cool. Handy. Uh, that's very handy. I've always been meaning to make a set of them, but just never got around to it. And it wasn't until I was making those pieces, and I've got to try and get this made that I thought I might pay to make make a set of jewels, soft jewels for them. So that's cool. And I'll have an attempt at bending one of these up. I'll have a play with a bit of with probably that bit first before I use that. And I do have is that long enough? Because it's barely long enough. I'd get away with it if I needed to. If I had never screw up. So I've got a one piece to one piece of screw up this to play with for a start off to try and get this. I should be able to do it, it's just awkward because I haven't got that hydraulic clamp to uh, squash it, but if I'm gentle, I think we'll get it. So we'll have a play with that now. So I've measured that up, I've got my marks in there just to have a test play. So, first mark's that one, and then I'll have to try and, so basically bending it up that way. And then I'll have to do that double double break to uh, try and get it like, to do about 45 degrees or thereabouts at a time until I can get it, until I can fold that piece as hard over as I can. And being aluminum um, or aluminium, it should be fairly easy to do. So what I've done is I've measured to the inside of the bend, not the outside, I've measured to the inside. So I know that when I put this in, and I put that at that pinch point, it should be it should be the same as what it is when it rolls over, if you know what I mean, um, in theory. And these other pieces aren't terribly long either, so it shouldn't be too difficult to, to do, hopefully. I wish my tripod was just a little bit taller. Amazon. <laughs> I break that from 45 or thereabouts. I've got to try and get this. It's only about um, 7 mils or about, probably about 5, 16, somewhere around it there. That's what 
that is, 5 to 16. A piece in between here. So I'm talking like this little short edge. It's not very big at all. Like it's less than 3 eighths anyway. And this piece here across the top is a bit over 3 eighths. It's, it's about 7 to 16. Somewhere between 7 and 16 and uh, half inch, roughly. So, it's about 10 mil to the inside, or 3 eighths to the inside. So if you broke that dead square to get it in here, you can't. It's um like it's sticking out here. Take the phone off. So if I broke that dead square, you'd never get it in past there. But because it's at a 45, you can put it in there like that and then try and clamp it. It's kind of awkward. I'm trying to get it as close as I can, but yeah, when you hold it like that, and you can just gently bring this down. Because it's a soft material, it just bends up anyway. So now it can come like that, get that close to close to 90 or thereabouts. So this is the side that I want 90 again. So it's this bend. So you've got to bring this back up to 90 and then I've got to try and bend that hard over as much as far as I can. Because this is now kicked up, I'll actually get it over a few way. As much as I can anyway. So hopefully now I can squeeze it up. <laughs> I hope. I'd hate to be doing a really long piece like, you know, three feet long. I'm hoping I can. I want to try and squeeze this up if I can. Maybe with some force. It's a bit of a problem with doing stuff like this. It's not far away, it's a little bit wide, but to be honest, that doesn't really matter. Oh, bugger. What did I do there? I bent down the wrong freaking piece, didn't I? No? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did I do that for? So, yeah, I folded the, back, the piece over that I wanted to fold over wrong. How the hell did I screw that up? Oh. Screwed that up, didn't I? How the hell did I screw that up? Oh. Yeah, I free folded the wrong piece. Oh, good thing it was only a test piece. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh. 
probably why you shouldn't make videos and things like that. Sometimes, just do it off camera. <laughs> not concentrating on the wrong thing. The funny bit will be uh, how many people picked that up that I was being in the wrong piece when I was making the video. <laughs> I'm going to put the video together. No. It's all good. <laughs> Shit happens, eh? <laughs> yeah, so I, I bent the wrong piece. Square. Or over square. No, I only rigged a point just to see if I can get it right. <laughs>
Now, it's always freaking noisy. Um, you know, you can turn your volume down, but it'd be nice to be able to just flick through it without the sound being on all the time, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, just so you can actually get to something where you want to listen to it, um, instead of some of the shit that comes through you on me. But anyway, um, like, it's not so bad if, if it keeps within the car sort of stuff, but some of the other freaking crap that pops through the filter system, um, unless you're just following the shit that you want to follow, um, is not too bad, but when you're looking for new things, God, there's some shit comes through there. But um, I've actually seen a cool thing in there, and I'm going to try and have a play to see if I can make some, or we'll make one anyway, see how it get on. But I think my panel still might be a little bit thick, but I'm going to have a play <laughs> at some point. Um, I'll show you what it is when I've made it, if it works. <laughs> Alrighty, hopefully you can see that alright. So let's just zoom in just a little bit. Kind of. Just test fitting these little st strips in here. Just seeing how they fit and what I need to maybe trim off the bits of timber, a little bit of uh, quad wood. Um, underneath, lots of stuff. Go on the edges. I think we might be a little bit tight this way with this one. It's not too bad, it's just it's more in the centre, just needs a little flattened off a little. Mate, we might be able to get back to the belt sander. Too bad. Like the corners need cut off on an angle, like on a 45 and lots of stuff, or close to 45. But I think we're um, in the right direction anyway. In the right direction. So that one that's actually a little bit short might be actually better than the ones that are slightly long. So yeah, I've got to get that back one off. That other old piece and I'll just clean it up and put it along the back. If I just polish it up it should be alright. Everything else should be okay. It actually matches in pretty good with that. We'll just, we'll just give it a light, I'll give it a light sand and a, uh, a bit of a buff, like a gentle buff up. I might just give this a, a bit of a buff up. We'll give it a, a light sand, a bit more of a light sand and just bring it up a little bit. And the same with those other pieces, obviously. But that's cool, it's working. That's nice. I think that'll, that'll work out quite good. It's finished. It's quite nice to have an original piece in there. I would have made a new one, but um, I can probably go get another strip cut. Just a pain in the butt. They just didn't give us that full length. If they given us that full length, I would have been fine, I think. But yeah, it's just it's not quite enough. You know, I need to put some braces underneath this. It's just got a bit much flex. Just a bit much flex for my liking. So I have to run a couple, a couple braces in there just to beef it up a little. But that's cool. We're getting there. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this because it's all worn away. Yeah. But that is the end. For obviously for the heel of your foot, that's not wearing the carpet out, which is quite cool. No, we can just clean it up and just use it. Don't have another one, I don't think. I can go up hard and look upstairs at bits and pieces, but I don't think there's another one. But with a rough clean up, it should be alright. It's worn, but it's, it is what it is. Yeah, if you really, really wanted to, and you made a form to, you know, made a, a punch to punch that into in a, in a bit of a form, you could recreate that, yeah, but it would take some work. But anyway, um, looking good. Let's check the time. I think it might be close to lunchtime. Um, and I'll come back and we'll finish those other bits up. But we are just about there, which is cool. I'm right with that. We're coming along. 
and the little bits of gap I had front and backwards it's um, actually just a little extra material in there just soaking that up but we we'll need to get that screwed in properly just to double check that because it's not hard to make that um, heel board, that little short one Again, oh, if that's the only one I'd have to make again, I'd okay, just make it a little bit deeper. No, basically the thickness of a saw blade or whatever like that if I, if I need to make it just a little bit longer. And there's enough length in those side pieces. Um, now those little short bits if, if it did happen to... Uh, so I won't just trim them yet just in case I do need to make that skinny board just a little deeper that way. But I think we're pretty good. But I wouldn't mind just getting that screwed up there. I might try and find something that'll just do a, do to screw it there. Um, I'll uh, hunt around later on. Let's see if I've got some little bolts there that'll just hold it. But anyway, we'll catch you later on. Righty, so got one shaft done. That's a bit better. <laughs> Just keep the crap, like the batteries and the drills and, well not so much the drills, but the charges and stuff up off the bench, out of the road. Um, you know, it just gives you more bench space, I suppose, you know. I'm going to do the same down there with the other stuff. And plus we can sit other small bits and pieces up there. Like the little, um, it's like a little screw screwdriver socket set driver thing. That's up there handy with the, with those bits. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have that sort of thing all the way along, but, you know, a couple of them in the meantime would be fine. You know, and we'll stick the other one down here for the other um, charges and stuff. Like there's the DeWalt one and the Hitachi one and the one for the other bits. And I can stick some of the other stuff up on it too. You know, it'll reach along to basically that plug. And uh, as I said, I was going to drill a, a decent sized hole in there so we can poke the cables through. So they're not hanging off the end of the thing, they just poke down through there. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's 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 better than nothing. Um, just saves the cables hanging off the front too. So that's kind of what I did there. Stop it. Stop flickering lights. <laughs> so, I'll get the other one made, and I'll bring you back. Righty, so I just got that one up there. Um, so it's pretty handy for just putting those charges up there, spare batteries and whatever, out of the road. Just gives you a little bit more clear bench space so you can, if you're working, still need to bolt that thing down and put the guards back on it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically what I've done there. And I added an extra um, like hole to pass cords down to, obviously depending whether you got the charge at one end or the other. I need to shift that one. But, you know what I mean? Just handy enough. Try a few bits and pieces up there, batteries. You, know, you don't have to necessarily have to get, have the power tools up there, but just spare batteries and the chargers up off the bench, out of the road. Just keeps your bench space a bit clearer, a bit cleaner. You know, as we get through, we'll slowly improve the workshop. You know, hopefully at some point we'll get a better top on this bench, um, or at least put something over top of it, like some like some decent ply, like maybe like an inch ply on top across the top of it, you know, just flatten it off and, and put something better over top um, or whatever just to make it a bit better because it is fairly unfortunately dozy um, so yeah, but that's a big improvement it, keeps, it just gives you a better bench base to work and you're not tripping over stuff and you're not, you know, having like if you're trying to plug something into a charger or whatever, you know, you're not got stuff cluttered everywhere. I'm not quite sure what these are for, but they must be for something that he's got. The owner's got, so. But yeah, that's just handy. So I'll carry on cleaning up here, whatever. And um, get back to what I was sort of doing over there, I guess. <laughs> I just sort of wanted to do that before I put that what's left of that sheet of timber back over there, or well, the sheet of plywood back over there, before I drag the other one over here and do the, the thinner stuff. So that's quite on why I did this. Now why it was still there and easy to do. Uh, and I just, um, I was gonna cut up the width of the sheet, but I actually forgot that I'd actually cut width off it, so I ended up whatever length it was left 
which was a bit longer than what it was, so it's quite handy. So it's just got a little bit extra on it. So that's kill. More crap out of the road. <laughs> right, morning guys. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the rest of that stuff sorted. Um, that I was doing yesterday and then I ended up making those shells and stuff. Um, I'm going to get the little corners trimmed off. I'll see if I can get that other strip off. Those other pieces, not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I might have to just use the die grinder and just slowly take those heads off so I can get them off. Um, get one piece off there and then get that fitting. I still haven't found any of the fucking mouth. I want some fucking, I need more than one bolt. Um, I've only got one. That's the right sort of. Um, everything else I've got is just a little bit big and it won't fit through the holes in the body um, and I don't want to make them any bigger because that's obviously what they're meant to be and now that it's painted I don't want to do that like I don't want to enlarge any of these that's they're that, they're that size and that's what they're meant to be um, I've got the cobwebs on there already <laughs> so yeah I don't want to make them any bigger and unfortunately everything I've got is just a little bit big um, compared with the one well, I've got two, but one's shorter. It's probably been broken off, or something like that. So yeah, I just need, if I had two or three of them, I'd be fine. Because I just want to bolt that piece up and so it sits where it needs to be. Um, what if Dad's got anything? I'm driving at the fucking car here, because Brissa's just pinched the fucking thing. Um, bugger it. Yeah, about that. I'll have a, a bit more of a hunt around through this kind of stuff here. I don't think I've got anything else that's the right size. I'm sure I don't. I've been hunting. Because I need a, something I've got enough on. I've got, a, I've got a lot of screws that will fit through the hole, but not little machine bolt sort of type things. I didn't get anything like that. They're all anything I got like that that's bigger, like it's fatter in size apparently. Um it's a bit of a curse. I just haven't had a chance to I need to go down to town myself and do it. anything left up in that one up there probably not they probably would have pulled them when they fucking I was thinking maybe in that empty cow there's still stuff in it but all that's been unbolted in it so it's probably not likely to be in that yeah man I've hunted through most things so I just I can't point anything annoying because I've got heaps of this sort of stuff but it's that next size up <laughs> and it's just a little bit fat to go through there which is a bit of a curse mm. I just like two or three that's all I really need to just I mainly want to mount I'm not worried about the uh, the solid aluminium pieces that go around the pedals not worry about those but if I can get three bolts in there to you know one near one in the middle and one at the other end just to hold that floor piece in place where it's meant to be and tight you know half tighten it up if you know what I mean um, 
be handy because then I can just judge whether that little floor piece, that front wooden strip of the pieces, whether it's deep enough or not, because um, I don't want anything loose in there. Um, I'd like it to be snug, if you know what I mean. And if it's when it's all pulled up and there's a you know, a gap that big, well, it's a pain, but I'd rather make it a little bigger. It should be fine because I used the I used those wood pieces as a template, but if it needs to be a little bigger, I can make another one. Do you know what I mean? I'll just yeah. No, I'd like to know. Believe it or not, those there are out of that grinder for the covers. <laughs> and because I had them off, I think these will poke through the holes. Yep. Yeah. But I'll do to just hold the bastard together anyway for the today. <laughs> awesome. Righty, so we're going to go into town and get some bolts. I want to be able to bolt that stuff down properly um, so I can. I need to remake that front section of floor. It's it's a little bit short. Um, it's in between the um, toe board piece and uh, here. Uh, by the time I've got this bolted down, when I've got that pulled down, it's got quite a gap there, and I can't, I haven't got anything else in here to fit. So I'm going to go down town, I'm going to grab about 20 of these machine screws, um, and I'm going to grab a few extras, because they're actually the same thread as here. So I'm going to grab a few extras, not, not heat, but a few, and I'm going to grab flat washers and spring washers and whatever, and nuts and everything to fit them. And this is the right thread for the those main bolts um, and I've marked on here how I've screwed it into its stops and I've marked it in on here to uh, the rough length it needs to be at full wind in with on that thread 
Um, so, just to give me an idea, um, so it doesn't need to be terribly long. Um, yeah, and then I can recut this piece because there's quite a gap there um, when this is back. So it really needs to be when this pulled down. It's a gap in the front too. So I can get all those in there, get it screwed up tight, or snugged up tight, and with those bolts in there, get that pulled down. At least then I can remake this piece just a little bit, a little bit bigger, deeper, um, and then I know that there's no gaps. Now we want it to be snug without being a pain in the ass to get out, but. Um, yeah, you just, it needs to be just a little bit bigger, I think. It's not going to hurt to be a little bit, just a little bit deeper. Like, a, and I'm take, only talking like freaking, you know, an eighth of an inch or something like that, you know. Or we'll leave it, maybe we'll leave it more than that. But it's not a lot, but it's just enough to be annoying at that depth. And that's why I want these. Otherwise, you can't quite, you can't really tell exactly how much you need to make it bigger. Um... So yeah, so before I put that away, that piece, um, you know, I may as well recut that piece, get it done, and then I know it's the right size, um, and then I can move on with this other stuff. So Rachel's keen to go to town for for an hour or so, so we'll shoot in there, do that, and um, come back out here, and then I can. Carry on with that crap later on. So that's cool. We'll do that. Change of plans. Alrighty. So back from town. Had some lunch while we were in there. <laughs> um, by the time we muck around, we found the, all the little bits and pieces we need. So this is from the home of the world's fastest Indian. <laughs> Literally, the bike. So, got a whole heap of little nuts and bolts and whatever. Unfortunately, I can't get machine screw type things for the two main bolts I need, but I'm going to use these and make them into that, hopefully. And then, got a pop of little spring washers and, and uh, nuts and whatever. They got what, just bins and bins of bits and pieces. So, spring washers. Feels like the bolts or the machine screws. And they're flat heads. Like they should be nuts. And uh, flat washers. So I'll find something to put them in, that they're all in one thing, and not all in paper bags. <laughs> Get them all out. Yep. That's cool. And the bows. Put those back in there, so that could come in handy at some point. We'll put the little bits in. find something to put them in anyway. But first I want to do is um, round these off and tape and put a taper on them and then put a slot in these. That's what I want to do. Righty, so the plan is get the camera in a slightly better position. <laughs> but apart from that he says, so I put a little bit of tape on the threads just so I don't gore them up and put them in here. So I want to hang it down. So I'm going to use this like a, uh, what we would say over here is a, a Maori leg. <laughs> so 
and basically I'm just going to hold that like that and take the edge off it and round it off and then hopefully flatten it off. That's the plan. <laughs> I probably should have got more than two. <laughs> should be right. <laughs> I'll put my earplugs in. I need to start putting some little tins around here. Some water in them. <laughs> I could probably just round it off a little bit more, but that's kind of the desired result we wanted. Yeah. Might just put it in there a little bit longer and just, just touch the edge and it'll just round it off. It's almost round but it's not quite, you know what I mean, not quite taking it all off, but I don't think there's a bad result from that to that, <laughs> I think a blind man would be happy to see that, <laughs> so yeah, we'll give that a wee dress up and we'll do that one. If they had a slightly bigger head, so I didn't have to grind it down quite so small, but sure. We'll uh, carry on with the next part of the plan. Might just go see if I can find some washers that fit over that that I might better taper. So they make them a bit more cone shape, we'll see how we get on. Come back to you a minute. Right, so, got one of these bolts in here. I'm going to try and, if I can, try and pull one of these down or something or find something else that's close and pull it down through into here and try and make it like a a tapered washer or something, you know what I mean? Like a cone washer, I guess you'd call it. Um, I'm going to try and sort that out shortly. What I pull it down through, I'm not quite I'm sure. I'm going to try a bit of wood for a start off and try and pull it in and see if I can get it to fold up maybe. Um, or even try and maybe heat it. Maybe heat the washer and, and do a nut up or something like that. So I might find something else that's the same, but in metric do the same sort of thing and pull it down so I'm not, you know, wrecking these and pull it down and try and heat that up and get a cone tight washer, if you know what I mean. So it'll fit down in that same hole just in case these happen to pull through. That's one thing I'm worried about. Um, but I'm just going to nick this with that here across here and then I'm going to use this little file to um, hopefully get a nice consistent um, thing through there. So I'll just do that. This, this is probably why I should have got 
at least three or four. <laughs> I said, all right, you tell you what do. Right, it's got those sorted. Well, I would have liked this one here to be a little bit better, but you know, they're handmade. Um, you know, I could, probably could do slightly better. I would like them to be a wee bit more even in size, but it's a bit difficult when you're just trying to do it by hand. But I'll be right, you can't. You're not looking at both at the same time. <laughs> um, so you now I'll try and do something with one of these and taper it up somehow. I've got some nice little tapered washers to go on behind me. Well, let's find something that's close that I can make something out of. Righty, so. I'm just going to remake another one of these tapered washers. I, um, I've done two rear, really, but I'm just not happy with that one. The second one turned out better. So basically, just a flat washer. Flat washer. A bolt that I did the similar sort of thing to. A bit of tube in the press. <laughs> basically. Let's see if I can get a slightly better result this time. You can see I've been where I've been squashing it. <laughs> Just pushing it in there. Let's do that in again. See how it on. Need an air over hydraulic foot pedal. <laughs> Be handy. But anyway. Just slightly nice in that one. I'm going to see if I fit in the hole. I think Arco's trying to talk to me again, so I'll quickly see him, then I'll see you guys back again. Let's see if I can get this other bolt in that to go in the hole on the other side. So we can get it to line up. And then we can put the screws in. It's probably not meant to be for this car. <laughs> um, I'll, let that off. I'll open these holes up a little more, just see if I can get a little more playback to the forwards. 
booze. It's mild, mate, like it's friggin' half a hole. <laughs> Makes me wonder if this is meant to be in this car. I'll have to move the camera out of the road. Sorry guys. Right, I think I might have found the issue. <laughs> and I just, I didn't think about it before, but wooden car. <laughs> I think what the issue is, because I probably need to have the tow board in here and realise that if I take these two screws out, I can probably move this quite a lot in. It's about half a hole out. Um, so what I might do is have a wee measure here, between here and here, and just see what that is, and move it. Oh, move these over anyway, um, and see if I can get about... If I can get about four or five mil, or... I don't know, what are we talking? Quarter, or a bit over a quarter of an inch, thereabouts. Yeah, if I can get the thickness of that, of this, over a little bit, that thereabouts, or, or a sneak more, will be right, I think. But I need to do a measurement here. Check, see what that is.
Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I need to. Unfortunately, I'll scroll that out and lift that bracket so that comes up. This side's are right. That one's it's too low. Come up. Right on. Righty. Mm. I think I've got that sorted. It didn't take a lot. Uh, basically a couple of thicknesses apply. Um, I had some some thinner stuff that was only three layers thick. So I just knocked one of the layers off. Um, I put it through the band tool and then trimmed it down and then just poked it underneath there. And put the screws back in. Um, I think it should be right. I would still, I'll see, I might just make this a little bit bigger. Probably just one end. Um, like it's not too bad. Like I think it's it's sitting way better. It's about the same level as what that is, I think. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. But I think it's about right. Um, but I'll, I'll do a, like a, I'll bolt it all back together um, in the morning, I think. I'll check the time, but I think I'll do it in the morning. And see where we're at. That's freaking, that's amazing how freaking long things take. <laughs> I tell you what, by the time you've done three or four of th things like this, you would have it done so much quicker because you'd know all the little freaking trip ups. You know, like being this is my first rebuild of a wooden car, like there's, Knowing what I know now, I've done a lot of a lot of things differently, but that's how you learn. <laughs> um, yeah, and it wouldn't have taken me as long, but yeah, it's still some of it. You know, it, it takes as long as what it takes, but yeah, that's all good. That's how you learn. <laughs> but yeah, well, I think we're on the uh, we're in the home stretch anyway. It's just a matter of just getting all these last little pieces sorted. Um, yeah, I might get that piece made tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, I think with, by the time this has crept forward a little bit, and maybe a, a foam or a uh, felt strip along there, or whatever they use, it's had something along there like that. It's had like a, a foam, a thick piece of foam or something like that. It's probably not that thick, but you know what I mean? Or not foam, felt. And um, they would have used felt back in the day, jammed down in there when you put that piece in and then slip this in, it would be quite snug. And I think that's how it would have worked. Which makes sense. They used felt and everything for seals and all those sorts of things and the motors and felt or rope, so I can imagine they, that's what they would have done along there. And possibly, you know, even if it had carpet on there, you put the carpet on there, you could tuck it over the edge and that would work the same way, you know. Um, and I would put marine carpet in here or some description. I still need to work out these things. I'm assuming they will. I'm going to have to work something out, but I think these are going to. I'm going to have to make something that hooks onto the, the bit of wood that's in here that they lock it into, you know, they swing into. There's a couple other little pieces that screw on the bottom of there yet. Uh, um, which I think is still over here. Yeah, these pieces, or well, mainly this piece, which is a, a thing to stop it from going so you don't go round and round, if you know what I mean. Um, so you obviously know where, where it's meant to be, but yeah, it's meant to come around and lock in so it stops that floor from coming out. So I've still got to work that out. Um, hopefully I won't get that done tomorrow too. With all these little funny little jobs. <laughs> funny little jobs that take forever. That's all these little jobs that take forever. Um, so yeah, because I think I'm almost 12 months in this thing now. I'd have to double check the dates. I can't remember if it was oh, January, February, March. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was 
late March, so when I started this, I'd have to double check. But I wasn't full time on it for quite a long time. I was only just bits and pieces at night and stuff for a few months. And then I just, like, screw it, so I went full time on it. But, uh, yeah. We're not far away. It's all these little pieces, though, that take time. And just waiting on parts to come back. <laughs> Be nice to get the flywheel and all that sort of stuff. Then we then we can, you know, we can clean that motor up, double check that, throw that in. I'm waiting on the shaft and that the gearbox and the bearings, hopefully, and the bits for the headlights, those bolts for the brackets. And then I can put them back together and they can be nickel plated, along with, and hopefully they're going to. Um, we hope we're going to try and get them to do the grill, or the, the grill shell. Um, because it was badly pitted uh, and they hadn't done it, um, where well, they probably didn't, we just said to them, cop the crap out of it and we'll pick it up and I'll, and I'll sand it out um, because I know if they do it, they will, well, just knowing the people that are doing it, if, if I do the sanding, it'll, it'll be right. If they do the sanding, I know it won't be right and then we'll get a decent result. Oh, hi, Mr. Bumblebee. You like the blue. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So hopefully that's been being done. We just said, no, just sandblast it or whatever you got to do to clean it up. And then just dip the crap out of the frickin' thing. You know, if you're going to do it 20 times, do it. Um, and then bring it back here, I'll sand it and buff it, you know, We'd sand it out and whatever, and because um, the copper will sand off nicely, and I can I can keep blocking it and blocking it and blocking it until we get it right, and then when I'm happy with it or I need more copper on it, I can have it back. <laughs> Which is a bit of a curse, but if I can get it right, I'll get it right, and then it'll be right. So there's lots of little things like that to wait on. So that's why we'll fall all this time in with all these little bits. And then hopefully it'll all come together in a screaming, screaming hex. So I still have to take the fuel tank yet, which will be one of these next things. We'll probably have to get that made. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm guessing it's probably um, soldered on the end. So I might better pull it off. I don't know. And where are those lines? Oh, these. So this is the, um, the fuel pickup and everything for it so and it's, it must be pressure it'd be pressure for the um it'd be pressure for the gauge like a pressure fed gauge and they were so i don't know just not sure how that would work interesting setup but that's the fuel gauge of it or the pickup and gauge i guess so it's obviously return on it and whatever and so yeah, that'd be interesting to work out. <laughs> but anyway, we'll uh, carry on.